Welcome to Episode 2 of Blood Pressure Medication Series. In our last video, we covered the five main families of blood pressure medications. And today, we're diving deeper into one of the most commonly prescribed, amlodipine. If you watched the main video, you'll remember that calcium channel blockers were one of the main families of BP-lowering meds, and amlodipine is a standout in this group. In this video, I'll explain exactly how amlodipine works, when doctors choose it, what you must watch out for, dangerous combinations, and frequently asked questions that I hear from my patients with their answers. Check description below for related episodes. Is your blood pressure pill making your ankles swell? Or causing weird headaches and flushing? It could be amlodipine, one of the most commonly prescribed blood pressure medications worldwide. Amlodipine belongs to a group called calcium channel blockers. Calcium plays a role in tightening your blood vessels. Amlodipine blocks calcium from entering the smooth muscles in your arteries. Result? Blood vessels relax and widen, lowering your blood pressure. Accordingly, easier workload for your heart. It also improves blood flow in the coronary arteries, those feeding your heart, which makes it useful in chest pain known as angina. In terms of how much to take, amlodipine comes in two tablet sizes, 5 mg and 10 mg. Usually your doctor will start you on 5 mg once a day, but again this will depend on a case-by-case -case basis and what your doctor prescribes. In terms of how and when to take it, typically you'll take amlodipine once every day and it helps to take it at the same time each day. It's fine to take it before or after food swallowed with full cup of water. Doctors often pick amlodipine if your blood pressure is 130 over 80 or higher, stage 1 hypertension, you're middle-aged or of African descent. As studies showed better response due to genetics, also if you have angina or chest pain from heart disease. It could be used in stage 2 hypertension as well. In combination with other BP meds, it pairs well with ACE inhibitors or ARBs. Studies show it's especially effective for isolated systolic hypertension, which means high top BP number. It's also selected in patients with kidney disease as it is powerful, well-tolerated, and safe. Amlodipine is not for everyone. Avoid or use with caution if you have severe low blood pressure or hypotension, severe heart failure, unless advised carefully by a cardiologist, severe liver disease as liver processes the drug, known allergy or hypersensitivity to amlodipine or other dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers. Amlodipine is not the first choice during pregnancy unless absolutely necessary. But other calcium channel blockers like nifedipine is used more frequently. Now let's cover potential side effects because, just like any medicine, amlodipine might cause side effects for some people, but not everyone will experience them usually less than 2%, but are mild and temporary. This includes ankle swelling, which is the commonest side effect reported, flushing or feeling warm, headaches, dizziness or lightheadedness, and fast heartbeat or palpitations. Rare but serious side effects can include worsening chest pain, usually in people with severe heart disease, and allergic reactions such as rash, itching, or swelling of the face or tongue. Here's a fun fact. The ankle swelling is actually because blood pools in your lower legs as vessels widen. It's not caused by water retention. Commonly asked questions include, can I reduce swelling without stopping amlodipine? Yes, it is possible, by lowering the dose gradually to see if the swelling improves or taking the pill at night. Should I check my kidney or liver function regularly? Most people don't need frequent kidney or liver tests. But if you have liver problems or take multiple medications, your doctor might recommend occasional monitoring to stay safe. Is it safe for me to take this long term? The short answer is yes. For most people, it's safe and often even necessary to use for long term. However, long term use does require regular checkups. Lastly, we will highlight some interactions. One. Be careful with other blood pressure medications as there's a risk of too low BP. 2. Grapefruit can dangerously raise amlodipine levels. 3. Certain antibiotics may interact like clarithromycin, 
4. High dose simvastatin combined with amlodipine risks muscle injury. For more information about amlodipine, including detailed side effects, full list of interactions, and specific issues around pregnancy, check out the links I have included in the description box of this video. Amlodipine is powerful, but it's not a one size fits all pill. It can literally save lives when used correctly. If you have any questions, please reach out in the comment section. Or you can share your experience and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to help others manage their blood pressure safely.